Hey guys, we're going to do Dan's uh, Modern Master Patreon box. <laughs> so we'll go ahead. So it is sealed. I mean, it did get a little injured during shipping, but it is sealed. Hopefully he gets something cool. Uh, we're going to go ahead and open it. So good luck, Dan. I have Ugin would be nice and foil. I think that's probably one of the chase. Uh, the chase card right now. So let's go ahead and open. I still never get used to like these packs. They're just so strange. All right, let's go ahead. <laughs> it's been a while. Love, love uh, Modern Masters though. Really good set. File Bird. Gambit, Guild Maids, Profane Command, and Smash. This card is seeing not that much play anymore. When it first came out, it was a kind of a bigger deal than it is right now. So I'll just put the cards here. So not the uh, best first pack, if you will. Man. They just feel kind of uh, strange when you open these like cardboard packs. Algae, cranial plating is pretty good. <laughs> Emical, um, and then our foil. I'll put the foils here, and I put like the good com uncommons here. So we did get Emical. Emical is obviously very good in Tron, but Tron is, you know, it's always good to see Emical because there's some value in it. So far, we have two foil commons. Rampant Growth, Raise the Alarm is really good. I, I love the Limited, it was actually a very good Limited format. This is probably like the strongest card in Magic Online. Oh, uh, not Magic Online, Ma Magic Duels. Oblivion Ring, Nobis, and Court Homunculus. So, not, um, I believe Path to Exile is in this set. Half the XI would be good in foil. Definitely would want to see that in foil. I'm going to go a little faster. Uh, the uncommons and the commons are pretty much um, Semitic Grove, Spellblade, and Cloud Elemental. So that's not, it's not bad. Like if you're going to get a pack like that, I mean, what am I talking about? It's about $10 a pack. This box was $200 and so every pack is around $8. Guile, Necrogenis, okay. <laughs> we have, outside of Emiko, we have pretty much not hit any good cards yet. Still gotta hit them. We still have a lot to go though. Dark Steel is uncommon. As a vengeful master breeder and Turf, okay, so the turf is probably one of the better uncommons you can get. All right, we are six packs into it. We have an Emiko, and that's pretty much what we have to uh, show so far. Scion <laughs> used to be a rare, and they made it uncommon. Combust, Moldrifter, there <laughs> you go, it's the Ivugan, and Drooling. Godelion. So we still have a four rare to go. Uh, obviously the Ayugan has spiked in price. I think you're probably going to get one a box. Um, I would be surprised if you didn't get one a box. The rares, like you pretty much get, you're going to, oh, Telling Time is a common. You don't really, I forgot the Telling Time was a common. Lightning Boat is probably a good card. Necro Skinner and, okay. <coughs> so, this has been like the most weird opening. I didn't even know there was like some, I don't even remember like these cards being in it. All right, how many packs do we have? We are halfway, maybe. We did pull an Eye of Ugin, which is good. Definitely one of the better cards you wanna pull. Vines of the Fast Warriors is very good. Artisan of Kozilak, Celestial Purge, Restless Operation. Shadow Mage Infiltrator. Oh, Spectral Procession. That is an okay uncommon. 
I feel like we have 15 packs left. So pretty close to halfway. Obviously you're looking for a Tamagoy or a foil of some type for Dan. Aldrazi Temple, or number one. Fuminator Mage, okay, that's good. Ooh, and our rare is a Battle Grace Angel. Uh, maybe not the rare that you want to see in foil, but uh, Fuminator Mage definitely makes... What is this card right now? I think last time I saw it, it was $20, but then I want to say like it went up to $50. Like, it's one of those cards that is a lot of money. So that's not bad. This one's kind of like the, the mon. It's really. Ooh. Lowstone Golem. Oh, Mana Leak. Well, the Mana Leak is very pretty. I uh, don't know if it's worth very much. So we pulled our Foil Rare. Um, a Foil Mythic is not guaranteed, but it would be nice to pull one. It would be nice to pull a Tamagoyf. But uh, another Ivugan Foil would be good too. Oh, Spike Shot Elder and Graph Mage. We are, I mean, it's still like halfway. I think we'll, this is pretty close to halfway, and we will see if there's anything good. Kite Sail, Flash Freeze, Low Scale Coal, Scoop Mob, and Grim Infliction. It really is a feast or famine type. So that's halfway. I think we. Or doing fine. We're pretty much going to get another mythic, maybe. Uh, we pulled the Eye, Fuminator Mage, and Emical. It's really a feast or famine set. You can do really well or do very poorly in this set. Gut shot, that's probably worth some money now. <laughs> uh, Mara Entity, and no, not the green card we want to see. Alright, so looks like 11 packs left. This has been a very strange opening. Because I've opened quite a bunch of this. I've never seen this pattern before. Spell Sky. Yes. Uh, obviously, Spell Sky is a very pricey card now. Um, still one Mythic to go, at least. According to my calculations, there's one Mythic to go. At least one Mythic, if not two Mythics to go. Vapor Snag is pretty good. I like that. Sign in Blood. Savage Trist. Ooh, Ant Queen. Oh, all of this dust foil. I mean, I don't want to say that's bad. It's just not being played right now. Um, and we have two foil rares, which means we're probably not going to get another foil one. Oh, well. Um, gut shot. <laughs> it's Oracle, Leads, and Plummet. So uh, a less than uh, overwhelming pack. Spell Sky is good. I know that card is ooh, that card is a little more pricey than that card is a little more pricey. I mean, we don't have another Mythic. I think the Mythic's got to be good. Recall is very good, and Moon Strider. So Recall, I believe, is worth like five or six bucks, which is, I mean, it's not very good. It's just very good for uh, against Affinity. So it is one of the better sideboard techs, if you will. Sunlands, let's see. Meyer Stare, Vengeful Birth, Leyline. Leyline used to be pricey. Uh, Flare Husk. Five packs left. Five packs left. Man, I really hope that it's not a one mythic box. All the values kind of in the mythics. I would love to see a Tamagorif. Dismember, Marion Crusader, and Sign in Blood. All right, Tamagorif. Tamagorif, will it be? Percure. Okay. Wow. Three packs left. We have one mythic so far, unless I missed a mythic, but. Even then, we did get the Ivugan. We did get the Spell Sky. <laughs> Splinter Twin. Um, 
Not a card you want to see right now, but a card that you might have wanted to see before. Two packs left. Can we pull out something epic? I mean, a one mythic box, Mystic Snake. One pack left, and it looks like it's a one mythic box, which is kind of crazy. I don't really know what to uh, say about that. Sign in blood. Goblin. All right, so then our second mythic is Tezzeret at the very end, which is not a bad card. It's obviously not the Tezzeret that you really want to see. And then I'm going to show the summary of the cards that we pulled. Um, no Goyf. We did pull Splinter Twin, but we did also pull Ivy again, so it kind of bounces out. A few Minata Maids. I think that's a very pricey card. Glint Hawk, Hawk, Evolving Wild, Sign in Blood, Flare, Spell Skite is very good. Uh, Scroop Mob, Outer, Lodestone, Fuminated Mage is pretty good. Uh, Mage, Ivugan is very good. We only pulled one Adrazi Temple. I think this card is worth so many. Um, Ant Queen, Guile, Noble, Emiko was our first pack. I believe Tezzeret, the Seeker. Uh, Splinter Twin, I mean, it is <laughs> Splinter Twin. Uh, I don't know if Leyline's still worth money. I'm assuming it might not. I haven't seen it being played uh, very often. All is Dust, which is, I guess, an okay foil. Uh, Mana Leak is pretty good. Battle Grace Angel. And I think that's it. So... I guess it's a so-so pack. I mean, it really depends on how much... If this is about 20-25, Spell Sky, I mean, it really depends on how much these free cards are. I'm not positive of the price. I assume that they're all worth 20 bucks or more. Fuminate Maids, I think it's worth a lot. And Ive Ugin obviously is worth quite a bit. And then the rest of the cards kind of help the value. Anyway, bye guys.